Okay, good day. So today we are to discuss our transpose of a our matrix. So for example, we have a matrix A uh, with the rows n and columns n. So if we are to obtain the transpose of matrix A, that is the same as a, a transpose or transpose of matrix A. What we have to do is like the columns from the original matrix will be the rows. While the rows from the original matrix will be the uh, columns. So this will be the transpose of matrix A. What we have to do is interchange the rows and uh, columns. So from matrix A, if we have an element, for example, in matrix A, for example, we have this element A, I, J, that element on the transpose matrix will be A, uh, J, I, C. Right? Again, we are just to interchange rows and columns. So, example, okay, so for example, we have matrix A with elements 1, 2, 7, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, uh, 8. For example, we are required to uh, determine the transpose of matrix A. All we have to do is, again, interchange uh, the rows to columns. The first row of matrix A will be the first column of the uh, transpose. That will be 1, 2, uh, 7. Second row will be the second column. We have 3, 4, and uh, 5. The third row of the original matrix will be the third column of the transpose matrix. This is 6. Uh, 7 and uh, 8. So this will be the transpose of uh, matrix A. For square matrices, if you are to observe, the diagonal elements will uh, remain. So we have the diagonal elements 1, 4, 8. The same, we have the diagonal elements of the transpose matrix 1, 4, uh, 8. Then if we are to proceed with the properties of transpose, I, for example, we are to determine the transpose of transpo, uh, the transpose of the transpose of matrix A. We will go back to the original matrix. So the transpose of the transpose of matrix A will be the initial matrix A. And we have number two. For example, we have a scalar quantity C multiplied by matrix A. Then we are to determine the transpose. This is the same as if we are to bring out the scalar quantity multiplied by the transpose of matrix A. Right, when it comes to the sum of or addition of matrices, this is matrix A plus matrix B transpose. This is the same as the transpose of matrix A plus the transpose of matrix B. Then last, this is for the product. We have matrix A multiplied by matrix B transpose. This is the same as the transpose of matrix B multiplied by the transpose of uh, matrix A. So this will, uh, these are the uh, properties for the transpose of A matrix. We will proceed to a uh, minor set of uh, factors. So let's try for a 3 by 3 uh, matrix. So let's have a uh, matrix uh, A. So for example, we are to uh, determine the minor of an element. So say the minor of A sub uh, IJ. Uh, so let us uh, choose one element. So let's say uh, element A, A sub 1 1. So this is uh, the minor of uh, A11. So the minor of A11 can be obtained as we are, for example, we are to delete uh, the row and column wherein we have uh, A11. So deleting first row and first column, we have the sub matrix. This is, or these are the elements. We have A22, the remaining elements, A23 and A, uh, A32 and A33. Uh, so then, we are to get the product of the diagonal elements. For downward diagonal, right, the sign will be positive. For the upward diagonal, there will be, this will be uh, negative. So the minor of uh, A11 will now be equal to A22 multiplied by A33 minus A32 multiplied by A23. So this will be the minor of uh, A11. 
So what about if we are to uh, choose another element? Okay, so we are, for example, we are to determine the minor. Okay, the minor of A. Okay, A12. So we are to determine the element, uh, the minor of uh, A12. We cross out uh, first row and A12 is on the uh, second uh, column. So the remaining elements will be A21, A23, we have A31, and A33. So we have to repeat the process. I get the product of the diagonal elements. A downward will be positive, then the upward will be a negative. So the minor of A12 will be A21 divided by A33 minus. We have A31 divided by A20 at A22. So this will be the minor of uh, A12. So what about for uh, cofactors? So we have the cofactor of an element uh, A sub uh, IJ. So let's say this is uh, the cofactor of A11. So A1, uh, the cofactor of A11 is basically equal to a uh, negative 1, this is raised to I, that would be uh, the row number, plus uh, we have J, the column number, multiplied by the minor of uh, A11. So that would be the cofactor of uh, A11. So if you are to simplify this one, for example, this is negative 1. So column number, uh, row number for A11 is 1. The column number for A11 is also 1, multiplied by what is the minor of A11? That is, we have A22, A33, minus we have A32, multiplied by A23. So this will be the cofactor of A11. So, for example, what about the cofactor of A12? So we have the cofactor of the element A12 will be equal to this is. Negative 1 minus the column ano, row number, that is 1. Column factor, uh, column number, that is a 2, multiplied by the minor of A12. This is A21, A33, minus A31, multiplied by A23. So this will be the cofactor of the element A12. So let's have an example. So let's have an example. First of all, we are required to, uh, to give the uh, minor matrix of uh, matrix A. So we have okay, so we have the minor matrix okay, So let's have the minors of each uh, element so we have a uh, first one, the minor of 3, we have to is uh, cross out the first row and first column, we have the remaining submatrix, that is we have 2, 1, 1, 1. So this will be the submatrix equivalent to the minor of uh, 3. Then we have, uh, that is 4, 3. Next element, that will be the minor of this uh, element. So we cross out first, we cross out first row and second column. We have the remaining elements, this is a negative 1, positive 1, positive 1, and a positive 1. Then, uh, the last element of the first uh, row, we have what is the minor of this element? That will be, we have negative 1, positive 2, 1, uh, 1. So these are the minors of the first uh, row. So the second, we are just going to repeat the process for the second row. Okay, what is the minor of negative 1? Uh, the minor of negative 1, we have positive 1, positive 1. Okay, this is also the same as positive 1, positive uh, 1. The next, the minor of 2, we have, this is 3, 1, okay, 1, uh, 1. And then the minor of 1, the last element of the second row, the minor of this uh, element will be, we have 3, 1. 
are then one, one. So these are the minors of the second uh, row. And then we have, okay, on the third row, what is the minor of this uh, element? So we have one, one, uh, two, one. Okay, then the minor of this uh, element will be, we have three, one, negative one and uh, positive one. And last element, the minor of the last element will be, this is three, one, negative one and uh, positive one. So these are the sub matrices, okay, or the minors of each uh, element. Then we uh, simplify. So again, we are to take the product of the diagonal elements. Downward will be positive, upward will be uh, negative. So we have this is two times one minus one by one. That will be uh, positive one. And then next, negative one multiplied by one is and negative 1 minus 1 that will be this is negative 2 then we have negative 1 times 1 that will be negative 1 minus 1 times 2 that will be negative 1 minus 2 we have negative uh, 3 okay right, then next 1 times 1 minus 1 times 1 that will give us a 0 3 times 1 minus 1 by 1 that will be a uh, positive 2 3 times 1 minus 1 by 1 is also a positive uh, 2. Then we have okay, 1 by 1 minus 1 times 2 that will give us a negative 1. Okay, we have 3 times 1 minus 1 minus negative 1 times a 1 that will be okay, this is a positive 4. Then last we have 3 times 3 is 6 minus a negative 1. By 1, that is the same as 6 plus 1. We have that as uh, 7. So this will be the minor by the minor uh, matrix. Uh, the minor matrix of uh, matrix uh, A. So we have now, okay, from matrix A, we have the minor of uh, matrix A. So now we are to uh, give the cofactor uh, matrix of uh, matrix uh, A. So we saw we have to, how to uh, determine the uh, cofactor of an element. Uh, let's say the first element, the cofactor of uh, A11 is equal to negative 1. This is raised to the raw number plus the column number multiplied by the minor. And the minor of, let's say this is uh, the minor of the element of uh, one, 1. So, what is our, uh, what is the cofactor of this uh, element? Let's say the positive 1. The cofactor of A11, one, one, this is a negative 1. This is on the first row, first column. Then the minor of 1, 1 is the same as 1. So, this is okay, negative 1 raised to 2 or raised to an even number is uh, positive. So what about uh, the cofactor of uh, A12? So what is our A12? We have negative 2. So this is negative 1 raised to, this is on the first row, first row, second column, multiplied by a negative uh, 2. So this is the same as negative 1 raised to 3, that will give us negative 1. Multiplied by negative 2 is now positive uh, 2. If you are to observe, so if you are to observe, we'll be having alternating signs. So for the first element on the first row and first column will be positive, this one will be negative, the next one will be uh, positive. So we have this is negative, okay, this is positive, so negative, then positive, negative. Positive, negative, then uh, positive. We may just apply uh, this uh, concept. We have alternating signs for the uh, elements of the minor of matrix uh, A. So for the cofactor of matrix A, so we have the cofactor of matrix A. This is positive one times a uh, positive times one, or positive one times a uh, positive one. That is the same as positive 1. So, same as this. 
We have negative 1 multiplied by negative 2. We have positive. That will be positive 2. Positive multiplied by negative. This is the same as negative 3. Uh, this is negative times 0. Well, that, that is uh, 0. Positive multiplied by positive is also positive. Negative multiplied by positive is negative. Then we have positive multiplied by negative. This is the same as a negative. Negative multiplied by positive 4 is negative 4. Positive multiplied by 7. Positive 7. Alright, this will be the power factor of a matrix A. So this will be our okay, the answer for a power factor. Initially from uh, matrix A, we have now the uh, cofactor matrix of uh, matrix uh, A. So if we have now the cofactor matrix of a given matrix, we may now determine the adjoint matrix. So if we say adjoint matrix, this is basically by the transpose. If we say adjoint matrix, that is basically the transpose of the L factor uh, matrix. So if we have now okay, the adjoint, uh, let's say the adjoint of uh, matrix A is the transpose of the L factor matrix. So how do we again uh, perform transpose? We are to uh, convert rows into uh, columns. So we have the first row of the O factor matrix A will be the first column of the adjoint matrix. So we have 1, 2, negative, negative 3. Our first row will be the first column, 1, 2, negative uh, 3. We have the second row will be the second column. This is now 0, positive 2, negative 2. Then the last row or the third uh, row will be our third column for the adjoint matrix. Negative 1, negative 4, and uh, 7. So this will be the adjoint of matrix A. So again, we, are, uh, we started with the minor of matrix A. Then we have the whole factor of matrix A. We transpose the whole factor matrix and that will be the adjoint matrix of matrix A.